Hey, what is going on, guys? Uh, today we're going to be doing a walkthrough box on uh, Dawn on PG Play. I got the box spun up over here, and uh, I'll give a little bit more context as to how these walkthroughs are going to kind of go for me. Uh, right as we start with our little little, little generic scan all uh, on this IP address over here. So we're going to go ahead and do a little end map on all ports. I like to write that out to a file here. Uh, yeah, so I was planning on doing a little bit of these walkthroughs uh, on some of these PG Play boxes, and then we'll just kind of see uh, see how many of them I do. Uh, we'll see if it's a regular thing or if it's just a box here or there. Uh, I'm not going to go into depth or explore maybe like every single possible uh, outcome or a different way that you could own a box. Uh, I'm going to try to keep these relatively condensed, and as I see things, kind of say, uh, what are some of the things that I'm thinking as I see them? Uh, most of the boxes that I'll do, at least for on YouTube, are going to be boxes I've already done before. So, um, you won't see me thinking for two hours. So, <laughs> this is not a direct reflection of my uh, of my abilities, I suppose. So, you got about 30 seconds left on this uh, nmap scan here. And uh, we can just guess while it's scanning to see if there's a web page, of which there is. It says, website currently under construction, try again later. Uh, we're probably going to have to do some directory busting on this. Um, let's see, MMAP's still cruising. We can manually check for robots.txt. Requested URL, robots.txt was not found. Uh, let's just wait for our NMAP scan here to finish, and then we will uh, uh, start directory busting. In fact, we can uh, we can even get this going real quick. Uh, I was doing... <laughs> Looks like I was doing some, some boxes earlier and maybe it was one of the earlier videos that got released uh we're gonna go ahead and adjust this to our current ip 125 111 get this ready to go so we're gonna directory bus with ff or fuff i i don't know how you call it <laughs> i don't know what you call this or use the word list directory list 2.3 small i really like starting with this word list uh and then if need be i'll use derb big uh, and if that still doesn't give anything, I'll maybe do directory list 2.3 medium. Uh, and if none of those give anything, at least on these kind of like uh, PG play boxes, then there's, there's, there's probably there's probably not going to be anything. Uh, here, let me close out this again. This was from a previous box. So we're going to be uh, looking for extensions PHP and TXT. Those are just two that I like looking. We're going to put it uh, out file format into an HTML document, which is nice kind of like for reporting and looking at it afterwards. And the out file, we're just going to call it default for scan, and then dash C for color. Uh, but before we do that, let's uh, let's do a deeper scan. Whoops. Let me grab this guy. We're going to do dash A on port 80, 139, 445, and 3306. And we're going to call that... Oops. Let me get rid of all that. Deep scan.txt. So we're going to let that finish up real quick. All right, looks like that MF scan just got done. So we're working with 80, 139. Looks like it's running Samba. And then uh, MySQL. So maybe we'll check some of these things out. Uh, before we start manually checking anything out, we can start this directory bus that we set up previously over here in the top right. Uh, there's a bunch of false, false positives here with all these uh, comment symbols. Uh, I probably could remove them from the directory list, or I could choose to ignore them. Uh, but I guess I'm just lazy and I haven't done that quite yet. So no worries, no worries. We'll just kind of let that run. Looks like we have a logs directory. And, uh, we'll just let that run real quick. So we have 445 open, so we have Samba. So we can use SMB client over here. We can do dash L to, I believe, list all shares. And then let's plug in the IP here, 192.168.125.111. And we'll see if we can do anything over here. Looks like we have an IT department share. Please do not remove the share in case you're unauthorized to use the system. Leave immediately. I'll typo on immediately. And then print IPC. Those look pretty normal. Uh, looks like we have some logs. Looks like we have some CCTV. Uh, before we dig into that, let's try to authenticate to this IT department share. So we're going to go ahead and do SMB client. Uh, was it 192.168.125.111? Or sorry, just 11. And then IT dept. Anonymous. So we're connected. If we do dir, there is nothing 
nothing here. Um, okay. Uh, maybe we can put something here at some point. Maybe if we do like a echo uh, hello there. And we output that to test.txt. Can we put files? We can indeed put files. Uh, we don't know where this is, and we don't know if it's in the web directory. I'm going to assume it's not in the web directory, just because, uh, well, we'd see probably index.html or uh, whatever this page is called. Um, but uh, as we can see from some of the directory busting here, we have logs and CCTV. Uh, there is a comment over here about install camera feeds. Uh, we did look at page source real quick, but just to make sure there was nothing uh, nothing that we missed. Nope. Okay. So there's references to that. So we should probably check out logs. We should probably check out CCTV. Logs. Okay. And there's quite a few different logs here. Can't do auth. Well, there's only three with zeros, so we can't access any of these. Uh, I presume there's permission errors on all of them. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, except for this management log. It's 81k. So we're going to go ahead and download this management log. Remove downloads management log. Remove it to the current directory. And we're going to do more management log. Okay. Looks like it's some sort of uh, process dump. Let's see, let's kind of comb through this. My SQL, Apache. Ah, PSPY. I think this is PSPY output. Um, but don't quote me on that. Uh, this. This is how the log was created. So, yeah, 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 yeah. It definitely was PSPY. Uh, let's kind of keep cruising through it, keep cruising through it. Looks like a lot of system processes. And this is interesting. This is, uh, so in the user Dawn, which is the name of the box, uh, they have a folder called ID department, which should <laughs> look a little familiar over here on the left. Uh, and something called product control and it runs it and it looks like it runs it every Every minute, 904, 903, every minute. And it looks like something called web control is also, is also used right here. So there's product control and web control. Okay. And web control gets ran as well. So, I have an idea. I mean, I did the box before, so I do, I do have an idea. But <laughs> uh, since something is being ran, and, um, well, that we know that that file doesn't exist, and we know from putting this test.txt that we can put files here, uh, my next step would be to, hey, let's just make a product control and put it there and see if we get a shell back. Uh, so let's just make a simple uh, bash reverse shell because we know this is a Linux box. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and do vim product dash control. And whoops, we're going to do our little shebang up here for bin bash. And let's do a standard bash reverse shell of bash here dev tcp. Uh, looks like our uh, brute force up here finished as well. Let's uh, snag our IP real quick. Whoops, a little too much on the copy. There we go. Dev TCP RIP. I always like things coming back on 443. Uh, I think it probably is a good habit to, to have uh, just because 443 is allowed by a lot of firewalls. So we're gonna do that. And then of course, zero and one. Okay, we'll do that. Uh, I don't think it matters if we set permissions on it locally because we're putting it there anyways and uh yeah it gets chmod 777 either way so it, it doesn't matter what we do here uh and we can go ahead and put product control putting product control do a little ls it's there so i'm going to exit out of this uh, smb client session and i'm going to set up a netcat listener on 443 
And if this management log is to be believed, we should probably be expecting a callback pretty soon. So there's, oh, there it is. I don't even have to go any further. Uh, yep, so it looks like, cannot, uh, so we have no, we have a TTY, but it's, uh, or it's not a valid TTY. So like if we try to do something like SU, uh, I think it's going to give us an error maybe. Or maybe I'm just wrong. Yeah, I guess I'm just wrong. But uh, either way, it's not the most stable shell, I think. Uh, either way, I'm gonna I'm gonna Python improve this. Um, hold on, TTY? Question mark? Yeah, not a TTY. That's what I thought. Uh, so we want to get a valid TTY, and to do that, uh, I have a little shell script here that just kind of it just gives me notes of <laughs> stuff that I typically like to do. Uh, over here on the left, on the box that we have a shell back for. We're going to do which Python 3? And Python 3 is on the box. Python 3, Python, and Perl are pretty, uh, I guess, common ways to get a valid TTY. So we're just going to kind of copy and paste these in so that way we can get our copied or a sta stable shell. We'll be able to get some color here. And we'll also be able to control C in case something runs. And, uh, well, uh, we want to cancel it. So we're going to go ahead and paste this in. I like doing it all in one line. It's going to hang here after continued. We're just going to hit enter again. And this should be better. So we have our IT department share that we saw. That's how we got on there. If we ls the contents of that, we should see product control and our test. Uh, MySQL history has zero. Local.tags. Bash history has zero. Um, are there any other users in home? There's a user called uh, Ganymedes. Ganymedes. I'm not gonna. We're not gonna continue with that one. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, so now we are user. We don't have a password or anything like that. Uh, we could check out. I think there's probably a var dub dub because of that website we saw earlier. Can we see what's in HTML? CCTV. Uh, we can't get in there because it's owned by root. I don't know if we can get into logs. Oh, and the, well, yeah, we saw logs earlier, and then uh, we can see those permission issues. So this is the reason that we could read it uh, through the web, port web portal earlier. Uh, everybody has read permissions, whereas these other ones do not. Uh, with that in mind, we can go back to our home directory, and we can do some uh, Linux privilege escalation. Uh, I have another thing that just basically cats out a text file with some common privest techniques. Uh, so we're just going to take it from the top. Uh, this is a point where, like, I'm not going to be taking notes during these videos, but this is, like, a good point to, like, I don't know, keep keep tabs of, like, the output of these commands so you kind of know what you're working with, especially if it is going to be a kernel attack down the road. But looking at uname-a, kernel of, like, 419, that's pretty modern. There might be something for this, but it's not, like, something that's super, super noticeable, like Dirty Cow. Uh, and then just to confirm, we are on a 64-bit system, so that might be helpful for later. I uh, don't need to dig into these anymore. Let's see if there's any pseudo permissions. Um, okay. So, anybody can... Run MySQL as root. Um, but to save you some time, I think this is a bit of a rabbit hole. Or I think I couldn't get it this route. Um, but before, I guess before we dig into this anymore, because like I said, I don't think I could get this working before. Uh, we're just going to do, also, we're going to check for um, some garbage passwords. So we're going to do like root root. We're going to do root tor and we'll do root admin uh, i got burned pretty bad on a bad on a box when i was trying to do privilege escalation and the root password was just admin and i didn't check and i spent over an hour so gotta check for those bad credentials uh but we'll keep going down this list so sudo dash l maybe there's something to do with my sequel uh i always have to check on a Linux box, we have to check for suids and guids. And then before we review those results, let's uh, check those guids as well. So, um, I, 
think that's fine. I think this is fine. Oh, I think there was... I don't think that was intentional. Um, Z shell is probably going to be a pretty big one. Um, and then... Yeah, Z shell is probably the move. So seeing Z shell as a suid is a lot like seeing bash as a suid where this um well so basically like in bash right if you do da bash dash p it inherits the privileges of whoever ran bash that p it like keeps those privileges until that session is canceled uh z shell does the exact same thing so if z shell is in user bin zish then if we go to cd user bin and we do zish dash p this should give us root uh at least an effective id as, as root and there it is uh effective user id as root just to i guess for giggles cd root ls all and then boom there's our proof.txt so again the reason that this works is because uh, z shell is just like bash bash dash p i think if we do what man bash can we can we do something like this can we find that p tab bash 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 Ah, uh, well, you know what, actually, in case we didn't know that, let's say, but we saw Z Shell, uh, we could head on over to our friends over at GTF Obens, uh, which is a fantastic tool uh, for finding these provesks through using uh, binaries already on the machine. And if you typed in Z Shell, uh, it would give you uh, a similar thing. So it says, hey, if the, if the binary has the suid bit set, it does not drop the elevated pr privileges and may be abused to access the file system. So just like shell-p or bash-p, Z Shell does the exact same thing. Um, yeah, so, uh, that was a quick one, hopefully, and, uh, yeah, any, I guess, complaints about the style, the way that we're going through these boxes, make sure to let me know, and, uh, yeah, I guess that was a quick one, nice and easy, there might have been a different provesque path on this one, and I would encourage you to check that out for yourself, uh, but without further ado, my name is Henry, and, uh, that's gonna do it for this box, I'll see you guys in the next walkthrough.